Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Atlas. I'm uh, dehydrated. Find fresh water quick by digging the... Right. I'm dying of thirst currently. Apparently I can find fresh water by digging. But I'm pretty sure to do that you require... Um, what's it called? Uh a shovel to dig with. Can I just drink seawater? Is this an option? No. If I were a drink button, what would I be? I may have just learned that I can just pick rocks up off the ground. It's useful to know. Right. I'm making a pickaxe. Can I can I can I make a pickaxe and have a tool before death takes me? It's unlikely. Equip the pickaxe. Wait for three seconds for it to equip. Thing is though, having this pickaxe doesn't help me. The knowledge that I can just pick rocks up does help me. Although I think these might be rocks that I punched off. Eat the dry rice. That that will that will satiate your growing first. Damn this temperate climate, it's killing me. Maybe there's fruit. Fruit's normally got some juice to it, hasn't it? Harvest. Ah, oh, you bastard. Use the pickaxe. Has this helped? Have I gained anything? No, I haven't. Oh, Christ. If I dig in the ground, I can get water somehow, but I don't understand how that works. I mean, I understand how it works. I just, I just don't know what button to push. Okay, so I pushed a button that made grass appear at least. That seemed to be effective. I don't want to die here. It's too embarrassing. Put fists or torch to hemp. Can I eat hemp? No, that's just a dry fibre. What about you? Can I eat you? No. Aloe? No, that's not. I'm so close to death right now. How do I get water? What's that f saying? Water, water, all around me. Ah, oh, it's too late. I died of, well, dehydration. Okay, right, now this is the most exciting part of the game. You hit respawn, what's going to happen? I'm wondering if zooming in helps. Now I I let I was near some blue giraffe and a kind of other thing when I when I returned before. Okay, so this says Ox Oxend Island. Now, crucially, last time we weren't on that island at all. Um, so I suspect we are nowhere near. Oh look, invisible mountains! What a sight! We're in their shadow, I believe. Um, yeah, so when you die, you lose everything, which is fun, isn't it? Uh, it seems, it's fair. Right, step, get valuable hemp. If I get enough hemp, I can craft, I think, a hat. And a, and a hat is a valuable thing. It keeps the heat both on and off your head for a start. Boom, we're making a hat. Step one done. We've already got a hat. And if memory serves, this sort of hat makes you look like a sailor. Slightly. Um, so I need rocks. It's not, I know. I'm going to try to freeze days to get water anywhere else it's from those fresh water spots. I, I believe he's just going over the fact that fresh water is almost impossible to find. If you dig a hole in the ground, you can drink water. But I think you need a shovel to do that. And to build a shovel, you need to be pretty far advanced in the game. So I I would suspect that there's another better way. Can I, is this fruit or is this just orange leaves on the tree? Feels like fruit from a distance. But when you get closer, not so much. <gasps> An elephant with many tusks. Look at the ivory on those bastards. 
I could live for days if I sold that. Also, look at the ports these people have built. Immense. They must have been playing for as many as three, maybe four hours. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, st I'm over here in the... Ca like the st this is the equivalent of when in civilization you're like 10 techs above above someone else. You're sailing the seas. You land on their island and that, there's just me bashing rocks together trying to survive. Right, so I need wood and I need rocks if I'm ever to make any kind of tools. Crucially, weapons. I need rocks more than anything. I'm pretty sure I can get rocks just by being near... Ah, look, rocks. Pick up the rocks. It's probably the equivalent of wood in this sense, that you can just grab it off the ground. Oh god, there's a snake. Oh, it's eating that chicken. <gasps> is, it, is, this, is this gold? Uh, no, this is feces, isn't it? That's just, that's just animal dung. Fuck off, bird. It's my rock. I'm mostly dead from water insufficient and vitamin D. Someone said get a cow. It's... I mean, it's advice. You get milk from a cow, that stops you from dying at first. What does the cow drink, though? <laughs> they don't just magic it up. Right, have I got what I need? I just need wood, right? We've got, a, we've got an easy way of getting wood. Well, easy's not the right term. You, you might think, by the way that this bark is stripping off, that if you punch all around the tree, it falls down without the need for doing too much damage. This is not correct. Also, the reason I'm shooting around at quite a rate of knots, every time you get your fists out, you enter combat mode. And like the controls go a bit weird. And so instead of just like stepping, you end up strafing in a weird fashion. And you have little control over yourself. I think that's what it is. It probably says that exactly in the text at the top. But again, not willing to read it. What well, right. I still can't build the bastard. One more wood. Okay. I don't know why it's got this map out. Apparently I managed to put it away though. Now I know what you're thinking. I haven't gained any wood. But what it tells you you've gained on the left there isn't necessarily all that you've gained, I've discovered. It's, it's just a random smattering. Sometimes it's everything, sometimes it's nothing. But what it is, is not an accurate retelling. Alright, I've got a pickaxe now. Look at me, I've got a hat. I've got a pickaxe. Now I know what you're thinking, what good is the pickaxe? Because, you know, whatever. But the pickaxe can do many things. Not not only can you mine shit. Oh, got the power in my hands. I feel like a god among insects. It will break eventually. Not, not only that, you can use it to mine wood without taking damage. That is a key. Then with this, I can make a hatchet. And from there, the sky is very much the limit. Look at this. I can build a campfire at the hatchet I that I already said about. Building that straight away. I'm going to build the campfire. And, and with it, we shall discover one of the great curses of this game. I, I, I talked about last time, and we'll, we'll now see in depth. Unless they've patched this since, but... Oh, I've leveled up. Fuck me, it's all happening now, isn't it? Right, do I want health, stamina, intelligence? I'm going to go with health. Alright, now look, I can, I can do construction, basic water swimming, water keeper, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, I'm going to go with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Which I... Right, so I've learned hand-to-hand -hand combat, which on first appearance seems like you've learned nothing. But actually, if you go up here, you've now unlocked a new tree of shit to pay for. Dexterity. Shrug it off. Breath control. These are the things I can, I can soon do. Also, there's footsteps nearby. It sounds like there is a beast about to attack me. So I'm near that elephant, I feel all, all other things fear the elephant. Right, I've got a stone hatchet, it's rough, it's hewn from wood. Uh, right, so you'll notice... 
Right, I've got the campfire out. You can see it up the top there. It says, can't place campfire too close to an enemy foundation or gate. Now, you'll also notice if you... Right, there's someone's place there. There's someone's places there. A bunch of ports there. It's a house there. So, can't put it anywhere there. Um, someone's place in front of me there. I suspect, if you look at a map of this island, what you would see is literally every living space has been filled which is a nice idea because it kind of put it it would push people out to new islands to found their bases and what have you but what it actually means is that oh i can build a place and by building here uh oh no uh how do i build it there we go look i've built here on this trail halfway up a mountain it's going to be difficult for me to build a ship and get out to sea, mind you. But also, it means that anyone else starting on this island who wants to build near this water has to go even further up the mountain, which is hilarious. Uh, right. Access inventory. Hold for more options. <gasps> My campfire has an inventory. So what? if I shove in, I don't know, some rock. Nope. Split stack. Split half. Put that in there. Nope. Put that in there. Nope. Okay, so actually, I think I can just put wood in here, would be my guess. Do I have any wood? Nope. Thatch probably burns, though. Yes. And then if I hit light fire, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. We have flame. I'm too hot. Okay. Not within territory claim will rapidly decay. What I'm thinking there is that I, I, I need to claim this territory as my own somehow. No idea how to do that. Um, not even sure I want to, to be honest. I've just, I've lit that with no intention of doing anything with it. I wonder if I can pick it up. Uh, possibly. Light fire, de demolish. Oh, uh... Right, okay, I'm thinking that, that fire is gone. That's fine. I, I lost nothing. No, take, take the whole fucking lot. Don't just take one. There's 60 odd reeds in there, for Christ's sake. Let's, trap, let's chop down one of these delightful little trees. Yeah, I've got some fucking fronds now. So this is this now marks almost exactly the furthest I've got like off screen essentially. I did get one step further in that I built a large number of I believe javelins or what are they actually called in this uh, spears. I built a large number of spe spears, which as it turns out are a throwing weapon and you can't really fight with them. You have kind of throw it; it does a lot of damage, and then you know it's dead to you. But I'm making five of them because no other option really. They don't think to give you like, you know, any, well, it doesn't matter. Soon, soon I'll have my weapons equipped. I actually quite like it, the fact that if you equip something from your inventory, it takes about five seconds to like go there. <gasps> People. I need to learn how to fight with this because I know if you hold down this button, throw it which is useful but not like super useful i'm think oh nope i just froze it it looks like it's in a stance now <gasps> i can slash with it and lunge okay all right and i can hit with the butt of it all right i'm now a tactical genius in the use of my spear the fact that i've got five of them means that realistically i should throw four and then use the last one for attack what i will actually do is panic so now I have to find something to kill because I need to, the next step in crafting requires me to make hides or get hides or something, something hide. I'm level three, so in theory I should be able to take down, you know, anything I see. No, I, I don't know how the levels work in this. You see, you see a level one elephant, that's got to be stronger than a level two ant, but... Again, things are not always as they seem. So, fair play. It's not a bad looking game, is it? It's colourful at least. They've had a go. 
I've got an incredibly powerful machine, and it is running all right. So, actually, it's not, is it? If it, it staggers every now and again, it is early access. I'll give them credit though. It's like a it. It's a fun base model of game they've got going on. Or am I dying of anything? Not currently. Ah, my prey. Taking down this bird. I missed. I missed. I didn't miss. It's just really high level. Maybe not. Okay. Now, I have to hit this. There we are. Yeah, it doesn't really tell you this in, in so many words, but to get shit off of these things, you, I think you have to just beat it. I think if you have a knife, that does the job the best, but, you know, the spear does the trick as well. I think I got all my spears back. It's saying five down there. The numbers are very small, though. Right, what have I got? I've got... I've got some animal meat, which is good. Now, I could eat that raw, and I believe it will make me sick. And I could cook it, but I don't have the ability. So, um, I just ate it raw. It'll be fine. Health recovers on its own, you know. So, there's that. It doesn't, it doesn't degrade my max. That's all that really matters. But I also got some animal hide out of it. Now, with hide, I can eventually make some gloves. In fact, I can do it now if I just... I need fibers, which requires a certain type of plant, which hopefully these near me are. How the fuck do I unequip shit? Yeah, Akai. Mm. Ah, this this looks like a nice fibrousy sort of plant, doesn't it? Wild beans. That's not what I want. I need you up there. Oh yeah, I can run. Forgot about that. Hemp. Hemp's a fibre. I can use this to make clothing, which is handy because night's coming. Also, cilantro. Now, what, could, what do I make first? Boots, I think. Hopefully, no, can't make any gloves. I need more fibre. Now, for pants and a shirt, I still need more fibre. Apparently the key to everything in life is more fibre. Success in this game, regular bowel control, it's all about the fibre. Is there any open water in this atlas which can be drunk? No. Because this is, this is a sea based game. Uh, right, let's get my boots on. Nice, look at that, fucking shoes. I'm a man of the world now. I'll have trousers in a minute. I'll be a living god at that point. Don't do anything until I've made my trousers. Look, they're not trousers. Oh god, there's a wild boar coming. It's not a boar! It's way worse! It's a fucking tiger! Oh, I'm dead. I got eaten by a tiger. But I did it in trousers. That's the key. Uh, so I've just lost everything I just had. So, uh, and that was on Oxend Island, which was this far away from that first place I was on. So that's, that's positive. Oh, look, I've spawned near an island, a sheer cliff face of an island. So let's take a guess. Do we go left or right to get to land? I can see a slightly lower rock this way, but I suspect it's an island that's many miles away. Um, so this, uh, I'll be honest, I've never been as lucky in this game as I have today for these videos spawn wise, like to be this close to land, granted it's a sheer rock face with no way on onto it, but that's a damn sight more friendly than the traditional entirely open waters I'm used to. Also the sun's setting, so I'm going to be swimming at night in a minute, which makes it a lot easier. If, if you look at my quick bar there, you can see how there's, uh, you can lay down on the ground and use left mouse click for digging. Don't know how to do any of that. Yeah, it looks like in my quick bar, I've got some tools there. No, if I pick up those tools, they'll automatically equip to those spaces, which is very nice, but it's more of a tease. <gasps> Land. Actually, this looks 
very familiar. I think this is Oxend Island, the island I was just on. So if I can, if I can find where that tiger killed me, I can recover all of my equipment, which is just, just tremendously generous, isn't it? The only risk, however, is the fact that it's night. I didn't kill the tiger. I had weapons and armor-ish before, and this time I have none of those things. However, this man has a loom. Don't know why I thought I'd be able to break into his stuff. That's, that's really not how this game works. This man has designed his home in an incredibly impractical fashion in that he has to jump down here to get to one side from the other. Oh, Christ, yep. Yeah. Someone turned the gravity way up on that jump. He's got an anvil. I wonder if I can use it. Uh, probably not. No. It's there. It looks like you can do shit, but I don't think you can. I'm guessing that there's there's like a build port ability or skill, and it just builds them all in that exact shape because it's an efficient shape. But no, n there's no way in hell all these people would build the same one. It must be like a predetermined shtick. Okay, it looks like there's a wild animal up ahead. My instinct says not friendly. But we're at night, and most creatures don't hunt at night? That doesn't sound right, does it? Yeah, that could... Oh, well. It'll be fine. If I grab enough hemp, I can build another hat. And that'll protect my hat from, you know, at least small predators. So far, my experience of this game has been... Well, I'm slightly enjoying this. An animal comes out of nowhere and kills you. Oh, thinking about it, what it probably is, is that if you have meat on you, an animal will attack. This uh, tiger's... Yep, yeah, he's going to kill me. But I know the basics of hand-to-hand, -hand, so... Yeah, take that. I'm giving as good as I'm getting. I think I'm about to die, aren't I? Alright, yep. See, I don't have the abilities this tiger has. He just jumped roughly 50 feet into the air. But I do have this small bus shelter someone's built. It's fucking huge, this tiger. I don't know how, how clearly you can see it, but trust me, it is big. Currently, the way I'm going, I've got a pretty good shot at beating it, because I don't think it can do damage to me in here. I've been wrong before, I'll be wrong again. What can I say? So uh, let's, uh, let's respawn again. Oh, I'm cold. Tells me I'm in the ocean. And let's see. Oh, oh. I reckon they might have fixed the bug where you spawned in the middle of the ocean. Because I've spawned in the same place twice. Now, on the other hand of it, I can't be asked to swim back there and just die again. Because, you know, this, this is a very hate-filled game. It really doesn't want you to enjoy it, does it? Damn it. How do I... Ah, the Atlas. The... What is that symbol? Is that anything? No. So it's... Ah, here we are. Bring all... Ah, bring all nine Power Stones to Centre more. Power Stone 9 Ghost Ship Route. I feel like there's a tremendous amount of game in here, isn't there? That they don't expect anyone to ever get to. Nine Power Stones. Also, what a late name for it. Look at all this shit here that I'll never do. Do I get anything for discovering these? Probably not. Ridiculous amount of skills. Tarot. Piracy. What does it all mean? It's ludicrous. And it takes fucking forever to get to any of it. Yeah, like I can do any of this bullshit. Right, I've got to stop. It's, it's not a good game. It, It's just, it's so... It's so unreasonably difficult. It's like it's just it's just fuck you at every turn. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.